Remember the ethereal smell of your grandmother's kitchen when you arrived for one of her holiday feasts? It's all about the bread, baby. Grandmother baked her own. She didn't buy it. If you think you don't have the time to bake homemade bread, or you are too terrified to bake homemade bread, relax. Today, I'm gonna to show you two easy, stress-free recipes for bread machine brioche and one rise pull apart dinner rolls. Let's get started. This is my grandmother's recipe for pull aparts and it's the very first yeast bread recipe that I learned how to make. In a big bowl, I've got three quarters of a cup of flour, two tablespoons of sugar, half teaspoon of salt, and one packet of yeast. All I'm gonna do is stir these around with a nice big, I'm using a plastic spoon, a wooden spoon. I've got three quarters of a cup of warm milk with two tablespoons of butter that's been melted into it. I'm gonna add all of this to my bowl. And I'm just gonna stir. And this is really liquidy right now. And I'm gonna stir this till I have almost all of the lumps out or you can stir longer if you want to get all of the lumps out, but that's not really the important part. That looks fantastic, and that took less than 30 seconds to do. Now, I've got a cup and a half of more flour, and I'm gonna add this to the mixture in about thirds, quarters is fine, three increments. I'm gonna keep stirring and stirring and stirring scraping down the sides of the bowl with a spoon. You've seen that in recipes, I'm sure. Time to add another third of flour. Stir it again. Now you can see, if the camera can get in here, the dough is starting to pull apart from the side, pull away from the sides of the bowl. I'm scraping the sides and the bottom. And now what I'm gonna do, see, it's a soft mass. And I'm just going to add this last third of the flour to the bowl. And now I'm gonna knead. I'm gonna put my hand in here. And kneading is the process of developing the gluten in the flour. And you put the heel of your hand down and continue to turn the bowl at a quarter turn each turn until you get a smooth dough. Now, depending on the humidity in the air, this is gonna take a minute, two minutes, not a lot of kneading for this dough recipe. Heel your hand down, press, turn, press, turn. Easy enough so far. Press, turn, press, turn. I've got a beautiful piece of dough. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna put it in the bottom of this bowl and I'm going to cover it with a cotton cloth and let it rest for about 10 minutes. And this rest period is going to allow the, flut the, fluten, the gluten to absorb the flour and it's gonna make my dough really smooth and elastic. My dough is rested, I've uncovered it, and all I'm going to do now is pull it off into 10 or 12 pieces and place it in a nine inch baking pan that's been sprayed with some no-stick spray. I have a little bit of extra flour here in case anything starts sticking to my hands or to the bowl. I'm gonna do is pull off a piece of dough, simply roll it between the palms of my hands, form it into a ball, and Place it in the pan. And I'm just going to do this till they're all gone. I've got 12 dinner rolls today, and all I'm going to do is cover them with this towel again and set them aside for about 40 to 50 minutes until they're doubled in bulk. And what I want to really tell you that's important is it's the doubling in size, no, not so much the time. So if it takes your kitchen a little longer to double in size, that's fine. Meet 
my bread machine. My grandmother didn't have one of these, but if she did, she would love it as much as I do. I've got the bread pan from outside of the inside of the machine, and all I'm going to do, I've melted a half cup of milk with two tablespoons of butter, and I'm going to add two tablespoons of sugar and a half teaspoon of salt. Now, you remember when we made our yeast dinner rolls that in the bowl, what we did was we mixed our dry ingredients and added our wet ingredients. The only thing you have to remember when using a bread machine is it's the opposite. You add your wet ingredients to the pan before you add your dry ingredients. So I'm just gonna pour this mixture right into the bottom of my pan. And now I'm going to add one egg because brioche is an enriched white bread that's made with butter, milk, and eggs. I'm going to lightly beat this. I'm going to add my egg right to this pan. Now I've got two and a quarter cups of flour. I'm gonna add that, put it right in on the top. I am not going to stir this. I have a packet of yeast. And what you do is you make a little well in the top of the flour with your fingertip. You add your yeast to the center, keeping it out of the liquid. I'm just gonna put the pan, bread pan, in my bread machine, close the lid, push select and start, and let it do all the work. It's been about 40 minutes, and look at how beautiful these rolls look. I'm just gonna pop these into a 350 degree oven for about 15 to 18 minutes, and then it's time to eat. See how easy bread baking can be? I'll admit, a bread machine is a bit of an investment, but it does have its advantages. One, you're never gonna have to buy another loaf of bread. Number two, because it does all of the work for you, it frees up your hands and your oven to do something else. And last, they all have timers. You can put your ingredients in the bread pan the night before you go to bed and wake up to the smell of grandma's home-baked bread. For these and all of my recipes, just go to my website.